Good morning, Goodreads. I am Emily Skretsky. I'm the author of the upcoming Bonds of Brass, which comes out from Delray on April 7th, 2020. And I'm here today to do a little virtual tour, starting with my workspace. Uh, so I actually was asked to show you where I wrote Bonds of Brass. Well, the reason I can't do that is because it was my parents' house in Virginia. Um, one specific armchair, too. What I can't show you is my workspace uh, here and now in LA in my little apartment. Ta-da! I do most of my work in this little corner by the window, watching the train and the freeway go by. Part two of this little tour, my bookshelves. And I can show you some of just some of my favorites that I can pull off the shelf, like Gideon the Ninth, Rebel Wing by Andrea Tang, Timekeeper, Mirage by Samaya Dowd. It's time for part three, which is reader questions. So one question that I get a lot with Bonds of Brass is, is it adult or YA? Because I have been publishing YA books for the past three years, and now this one is coming out from Delray, which is an adult publisher. It is being published as adult, and it will be shelved in adult parts of the bookstore, but I think that people from both audiences' readers will really enjoy this book, because it is written with that snappy kind of YA style. It's very emotional very interior, but it's going to, I hope, appeal to adult sci-fi fans too for that massive world building and just galactic empire stuff. Another question I get asked a lot is if I have any advice for up-and-coming writers. I'm still working a full-time day job and I have to carve time out to do this thing on the side. I really swear by this system where I only do about 300 words a day. I can do that in, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Doing that keeps it manageable. By keeping it as this little thing that's simmering in the background of the rest of my life, I can take the time I need to think things through. I often find that there's not as much editing to do as when I've tried to just slam a draft on the page like 2,000 words a day and I'm doing nothing else but that. I would say take advantage of the fact that you can be slow and find the exact right pace for yourself and then just work on consistency. And it'll all come together in the end.